I just texted a man to wish him a great day because the sun was shining and he just replied to me saying thanks. And for that reason, I will never text a man again. The sun fooled me once, but it will never fool me twice. Emotional, damn it! What move did a girl do in bed that had you thinking, damn, she might be a First link, it slipped out and she put it back in with no hands. Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. 8 a.m. Monday, she yours. She yours at 8 a.m. This weekend, I love her. No hands. She just did the arch thing. She just rolled her Cut back off, the other way. Woo! Yeah. And she's staring at you while it's happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't. She put my finger in her butt without my consent. <laughs> Sensational. Yum. That Yum. Yum. <laughs> There's no other words. Yum, bro. Started making spit bubbles and rubbed my gooch. <laughs> I almost cried that night. That's a game I haven't started playing yet. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. The, the the soaking like, yeah. and then just like under my yeah. my pouch. Yeah, pouch. under my under my coin purse and just your fig. You're just figuring, figuring stuff, stuff out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty bitch. So your confidence is also higher when you when you're with a less attractive man as well. Hey, how you doing over there, Red Bone? You is ugly. <laughs> oh damn. You don't have to second guess yourself all the time. You don't have to worry about who he liking up on Instagram because you know they ain't gonna like him back. Oh. Okay. That ain't necessarily true, man. They got some dudes out here that most people would say ugly. You know what I'm saying? Got a face that only a mother could love, but them boys got audacity. You hear me? She tripping, you know, but you can say the same thing about a, a, a man going with a less attractive woman. He gonna always feel like he got a leg up, man. You know, you lucky to be with me. <laughs> That's how he gonna feel about that. So really, it's a case by case. You know, it ain't always set in stone, but fellas, if you, if you got money, cause she coaches women on how to get money. She, she turns them into professional gold diggers, right? So you gotta understand that if you got the woman by your money, you got to get your confidence up because mm -mm, you can't have her going around thinking that she can run you just because you are the less attractive one in the relationship. You want her to respect your masculinity and your manhood because you have a and an XY chromosome. It don't work that way. Women respect resources. You can't check a bitch because you got nothing check. You got nothing to check with. The only place you dominate is in the bedroom. Dominate on the balance sheet. Dominate on your wallet, which is your accomplishment. Any woman that you deal choose to deal with, her money should be no good with you if you're 100% man. You pay everything. I'm so used to making the first move. This whole be a feminine, relax, sit back is driving me up the wall. It's been like how long of like texting like go me. Like I just want to drop a text and be like I want my ovaries rearranged, but I just feel like mm, I don't want him to get the wrong idea. You know what I mean? Like I would like to go on a date, but I would also like inches down my throat. Now I remember. I even remember your name. They should call you Jawbone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wow, this new me, very interesting. I'm really discovering who she is. Say she loses a goose. Check this out, bro. That's basically her advertising her services. She hoping that somebody in them comments gonna, you know, hit her with the right line. She gonna make that approach and he gonna be more aggressive. Like she, how she wants this other guy to be and he gonna really get it out of. Meanwhile, she putting homie in the beta male provider category because a dude that's really a go-getter went straight at her neck. That's how it goes sometimes, man. Man, for real, for real, if you up in there playing games and you, you know, you pussy footing around, man, instead of just going straight for the cheeks like a real man would, you know, she gonna designate you to another slot, man. Like, what a, what a little boys go, you know? Um, That's how it go, for real, for real. Hey, Mark, uh, this is Mark. Hey, Mark. Um, This is, this is a little weird for me. Do you remember Sasha from Vegas? Wait, who is this? Yeah, my name's Mark, too. Do you remember Sasha from Vegas? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember Sasha. Mark, Sasha told me that you're actually my dad. Lord, I'm ever out of What are you, crazy? No, what are, what are you talking about? I was very emotional before I called you, and she showed me the picture of you. How did you get you. my number? Yeah, from Sasha. You guys, you guys used to be together back in Vegas. 
and then you you left her i guess you didn't know that she was pregnant when you left her how old are you i'm 20. I know. Where's, what's Sasha doing now? What, 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 what is, what's your mom doing? Well, you know, she, she did end up marrying a guy and they got a divorce. She's just bartending now. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make a she's better a life. Bartender. She's a bartender now. Yeah, that's how we met. I mean, I guess I should call you dad at this point. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no call me dad dude what do you mean it makes me very uncomfortable um dad i i i got really excited uh, it's listen been... i said don't call me dad and you... you call me dad one more time i'm gonna fucking hang up i just come out there and meet you and and i'll cook us up some walmart steaks and and we'll see how it goes man um, walmart steaks what the fuck are you talking about i'm just gonna think about this a little bit okay and if you call me Anytime between now and when I call you, I'm going to call the police on you. Say, man, this was funny, but at the same time, it's real because, dog, man, this could ruin a man right here, bro. Like, man, this dude probably rooted in a whole nother state with a family and everything, and some dude come talking about, I'm his daddy. Nah, granted, he said he's 20 years old, but shoot, man, some some of these kids be expecting certain things, man. Like, he could, he could really blow your spot up, but it just goes to show you that this man ain't playing, bro. He know how having a kid in this country is, man. He said, I'm going to call the police if you contact me again. Him, boy i'm not your daddy <laughs> that was funny to me but bro that man was dead serious he was not playing around bro ain't nobody trying to have no kids with these women no more i don't bother people until i am bothered and then i take it too far but i'm a firm believer in you should have just left me alone in the first place <laughs> Say, bro, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, man. I know I'm probably the most ratchet dude on YouTube doing this because I be putting all kind of crazy stuff in the videos, but it do be messages, right? I talk my talk when it comes to Pookas and Ray Rays, right? But, man, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm from New Orleans. A lot of my partners, you know, went astray when we was kids, bro. So it's like I'm cool with these dudes, and I like to see them make full 360s. I like to see them trying to better their life, man. Some of my partners been in jail since we was 20, and now we in our 30s, and they getting out of jail, and they start and companies and stuff like that bro i'm proud of them boys man but the whole thing about this video shawty says she i'm a man look you doing the right thing you gonna get a nine to five man i'm about to give you this neck i mean look you do good you get rewarded <laughs> that's what it's all about right now babe what? how is buying a hooker just like buying a foot long sandwich how is it like the same and what do you know about buying a hooker? Both purchases could have been avoided if my wife would have done her goddamn job. I'm gonna back away. Say, bro, check this out. I ain't gonna hold you, man. I can't be in no relationship if I can't joke, bro. If I can't tell a girl a joke like that, it ain't gonna work because I'm gonna tell you all kind of crazy stuff. I don't know how to not say something stupid or crazy. I don't know how to do it, bro. That's my personality, right? I like to joke around, but Shawty was about to kill, brother. It was about to be over for him, man. She said, boy, you lucky I ain't. Ooh. <laughs> Fellas, if, if your girl get riled up over jokes, man, I promise you, you better not make her mad for real, for real. Take the pick. Okay. Guys, stop. I had an old lady like that one time, bro. And get what? She used to let me do all that stupid stuff like he doing right there. And this ain't no shot at him or whatever, you know. I'm just calling a spade a spade, bro. You can, you gotta watch a woman like that, bro. For real, for real. Because if she don't got the respect for herself to not allow you to post that on Instagram, dog, you know you gotta watch him because something off about him. I was in that situation before, dog. And I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, man, don't compare his situation to your situation. But, and they look similar to, oh, man, hell no.